Hi guys, M Technique here. Uh, today I'm going to actually show you how to install Florum's uh, Forum software board. It is actually brand new and it's really, really good to use. This is pretty much giving you an example of what it's going to look like. Uh, if it's your first time, uh, rest assured it's pretty, pretty easy if you just follow what I do. Um, what we're gonna, a few components that you're going to need is you're going to need Composer. Okay, if you don't know what Composer is, you can definitely head to their website, but you are going to need that and download. Now, if you don't know how to actually run any commands whatsoever using PHP or curl, what you can do is scroll down to Windows Installer and actually just download the uh, executable program. Now, for this tutorial purpose, I'm not going to download it since I already have everything installed, but just go ahead and install it. Once you install it, Another thing you're going to need is you're going to need XAMPP or WAMP. And since I'm using WAMP, we're just going to use WAMP today. Now, WAMP has the latest PHP, which is uh, PHP, PHP 5. Uh, however, XAMPP itself is actually using 5.7, I believe. Oh, excuse me, 7. Uh, PHP 7. Um, but either way, you do need at least 5, PHP 5.5 as the minimum to get this working. Uh, once you install WAMP Server or XAMPP, what you're going to do is you're going to head to your www folder by going into WAMP or XAMPP. You're going to go ahead and make a form. Uh, you're going to go ahead and make a folder called uh, Forums. For this tutorial purpose, I actually have a folder on my web server called uh, forums but I'm just gonna use YouTube now how to bring up composer what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click and you're gonna choose use composer here once this little command prompt window comes up what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and type this in Actually, I'm both copier and typer, but Composer makes it real easy. So what you can do is just go ahead and uh, type this in, or you can go and get forums at GitHub. But either way, you can download the master folder from GitHub, but it is suggested that you do download it using Composer. So anyways, what I did was I actually highlighted it and copied in Composer and inside the root folder that I actually made, just like I told you, um, you can make forums or you can make YouTube. I just chose YouTube. Okay. And then you, again, you're going to right click and use Composer here and then this command window will come up and then you're just going to paste it there unless you feel like typing. And once you hit enter, it's going to actually grab all the files that you really need to get working, okay? Meanwhile, while it's doing this, what you can do is you can go to your cPanel and you can go ahead and start making your database that you need, all right? Depending on your internet connection, it can take anywhere up to it can take anywhere up to five minutes for a very fast internet speed. Um, you can it'll probably just take like a minute or so. As you can tell, it only just took like a minute, maybe a minute and a half for me. Okay. Once it's all done, you can actually go ahead and close Composer out. All right. Now that you have all the necessary files, what you need to do if you're not going to use this local if you're not going to use this locally, um, now this. That I, uh, this that I say here, um, you can use locally for developers in case you want to like mingle around with files and do custom installations for yourself. Um, however, what's going on? Let's go. Oh, okay, I know why. Hold on. Sorry. Click that. Okay. So we're gonna go to localhost uh, localhost in your web browser. 
Then you're going to head to the folder where you installed it. And you should see this pop up. Okay. Now there is one thing that I am going to say is if you are using it locally, you do not have to worry about the HTC, the eight, excuse me, the .ht uh, access file because it's already set for you. However, if you're going to upload this locally, you do as it actually states, uh, as it states in the installation that you're going to actually have to edit the HT access file, okay, which is the mod read write and that you need to enable. Once it's enabled, you need to add this or be sure to add this line here and configure it to the folder or wherever you have Florums installed. Once you do all of that, what you can do is go ahead and zip it up like I did here. I zipped it up. Opening and using your FTPP. Uh, for this resource, since this, I'm going to go ahead and what well, you can do, yeah. So just go ahead and upload it, and then you're going to extract it through your cPanel. Uh, let's go up one level here. There's the folder. You just go ahead and extract. And what it's going to do is it's going to make a new folder. Okay. Now, excuse me for this error log. <laughs> that was run into a problem earlier. <coughs> excuse me. Now, what you're going to do is you're not going to see the HT access file here but you are going to see it in your FTP program. Okay, So you, what you're going to do is you're going to actually download it and then you're going to actually open it up in your editor and again as if I told you or just like I told you you're going to need to edit or be sure that the HT access file is has this. You need to enable mod rewrite once you enable it you need to make sure that your directory um, is pointed directly to whatever folder that you have installed uh, in this case obviously it would be YouTube and you need to make sure you have allow overwrite all once that's done you can go ahead and point your browser to oh excuse me um, another thing you need to do is you need to go ahead and make your database okay once you make your database which is very simple you need to go ahead and point your browser To your web server and the folder pat, uh, the folder that you have. Once it's all done and set up, you should be able to see this here. Go ahead and input all the information that you see here, and you're actually done. Once you're done, voila, you basically have Florums. I appreciate you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Definitely check out Kingsman's Coders excuse me, kingsmanscode.com. Um, you can also check out Florums, florums.org, um, and definitely visit the community section. It's very active. You can find out all neats and tutorials and extensions as well.